Several years ago, I started my career as a cybersecurity analyst in the SOC. My day-to-day -day involved triage and security alerts, investigations, and some incident response. Little did I know that all those things I was doing was preparing me for where I am today in my career. Now, several years later, I work as a security engineer at Amazon, and I'm contributing to the security operations function of the largest customer service operation in the entire world, and also previously having the opportunity to work on doing cloud and SaaS applications detection engineering in my last role at Datadog. All of these would have never been possible without my experience as a SOC analyst. And this goes to show that becoming a SOC analyst is one of the best foundational roles for your cybersecurity career. But as you may know, there's a bit of a snag with becoming a cybersecurity analyst, especially in 2025. The cybersecurity job market, as some might say, is cooked, um, but it basically has become more competitive and recruiters need a way to filter for candidates who can hit the ground running on day one. Unfortunately, many aspiring cybersecurity analysts struggle to gain real-world experience or demonstrate it, and the hiring managers who are trying to assess practical skills typically end up disappointed at the skill levels of most candidates. As a matter of fact, I personally asked hiring managers what they look for in entry-level candidates and made a video about that, and the common challenge is that hiring managers struggle to identify skilled talent while aspiring security analysts find it difficult to break through the noise and prove their abilities despite all the resources out there. However, as most people know, and as you might know as of now, TriAcme has been solving this problem for many years now with their lab environments and their SOC paths. But this year, they've decided to take this to the next level with the launch of their new security analyst level one certification, SAL1. And now there's been a buzz about it out there, a lot of videos about it out there, but SAL1 was truly designed to be a world-class hands-on certification designed to help aspiring and current SOC analysts prove their skills and stand out in the industry. I want to emphasize the fact that it's about proving skills and standing out. And I'll go into more details about this certification later on in the video and how it points back to those two things I just mentioned. Now, this is industry recognized because TriCME is trusted by 4 million users. And this certification was built in partnership with Accenture and Salesforce, two industry giants that know exactly what skills SOC analysts need to succeed. TrackMe was able to test their ideas with a mini certification beta, assessing how different testing methods impacted candidates, confidence, and hiring prospects. I'm excited to be partnering with them on this launch and breaking down everything you need to know about this certification in this video. So a huge shout out to TrackMe for sponsoring this video and really just contributing a lot of value to the cybersecurity industry. Now, with all of that out of the way, this video is going to cover some of the syllabus, the practicality of this certification, which is covered by their SOC simulator, the cost, and who this is for. So whether you're looking for your first SOC role or already working in the SOC, you'll be able to determine if it is right for you. We'll get into the syllabus in a bit, but let's talk about how TriAcme actually developed the certification. What I love most about this is the transparency with which TriAcme has approached this. I know you've probably seen a ton of videos on the certification by now, but I wanted to spend some time diving into the intent behind how SAL1 was developed. So TriAcme developed SAL1 after observing a consistent pattern with qualified, eager candidates struggling to secure cybersecurity jobs. These candidates have faced more than just peer competition. They've also encountered systemic challenges, including flawed hiring process, ambiguous job descriptions, and certifications that didn't effectively demonstrate their capabilities. So with their discussions with hiring managers, it uncovered a significant trust gap with entry-level candidates who lacked either fundamentals or practical skills, while some candidates' resumes looked impressive, they faltered in real-world scenarios. Now, it's important to see the difference between these fundamental skills and knowledge and conceptual stuff, as well as practical skills, as this will play a lot into when I break down how the exam is actually structured. Now, conversely, others demonstrated hands-on abilities, but lacked a structured understanding of these cybersecurity principles. And this disconnect has been strongly evident for however long. You see, aspiring SOC analysts, like a lot of the people watching this video, have voiced several similar frustrations. Despite all their investments in training, home labs, and certifications, it just seems like breaking into the cybersecurity field remains elusive. You feel trapped 
doubting your career choices and searching for the missing element that might lead to employment. And both the candidates and the employers need a better solution despite all the resources out there. So Track Me decided to take a decisive action. They conducted hundreds of interviews, organized four in-person user research events, and established a mentorship program to address knowledge gaps. Their partnership with Accenture and Salesforce, which are industry leaders with deep understanding of SOC analyst requirements, proved essential as they were able to test their approach through a mini certification beta, evaluating how different assessment methods influenced a candidate's confidence and employability. This research revealed a crucial insight. For a certification to be valuable, it needed to reflect how a real SOC operates. Traditional cybersecurity exams tested knowledge in isolation, disconnected from actual job responsibilities. Ultimately, hiring managers seek candidates who can analyze security alerts, understand attack vectors, and make quick decisions, which are skills that multiple choice questions alone cannot evaluate. So the SOM1 certification needed to be both comprehensive and reliable, and this led to the development of two core parts of the SAL one. The first one is the multiple choice questions, which are aimed at verifying fundamentals because strong basics are essential in a SOC or for any cybersecurity role. These questions assess core concepts like networking, threat detection, and log analysis. The second part is a hands-on practical assessment, which focuses on real security alert triage because SOC analysts must effectively respond to, investigate, and contain threats. This component simulates actual job tasks requiring the candidate to analyze logs, identify threats, and recommend solutions. So they crafted the exam to replicate the pace and the pressure of a SOC environment where SOC analysts must make swift, accurate decisions under time constraints. So the hands-on component ensures that the candidates can perform under real-world conditions. Every component of the SAL1 serves a distinct and unique purpose. It's designed to be fair, practical, and respected. And through multiple iterations, Track Me has refined the format until every aspect meets industry standards. Now, I haven't taken the certification yet, and I know several of you might have taken it, so leave your opinions of it in the comment below. I'll make an updated video about my experience when I do, but let me walk you through the training component of SAL1. The centerpiece is the SOC simulator, which is a true game changer for building SOC analyst experience. It perfectly replicates how real SOC alerts arrive, requiring you to investigate and make decisions on each alert. TriAcme's existing on-demand labs complement this perfectly. If you've already worked through some labs, you can apply that knowledge directly in the SOC simulator. I also just really want to point out that if there's anything that separates the SAL1 from any other certification in its caliber, it will be the SOC simulator. Nothing like this has been incorporated into a SOC analyst certification, so I think it makes a huge difference. The recommended learning path clearly outlines all the skills you need to build your confidence with everything conveniently available on TryHackMe. Now, regarding cost, for new users, $350 gets you the exam plus three months of TryHackMe premium access, everything you need to prepare. If you need more time to study, you can extend your training for just $15. Trust me, that is way more affordable than several other platforms out there that I've personally used. Current TryHackMe Premium users get a 15% discount, bringing the exam cost to about $300. Bulk discounts are available for multiple licenses. Here's a pro tip. Many employers can offer learning and development reimbursements, so check if you can expense the certification through your company. The certification package also includes a free retake, which is pretty standard in most certification packages these days. So finally, is it worth it? Ultimately, you're responsible for making career decisions for yourself. If you're looking for an evidence-based, well-tested, employer-verified, affordable, and practical, hands-on, entry-level cybersecurity education, then the SAL1 is for you. I really appreciate the 13-month effort that TrackMe put into this, truly creating it for entry-level candidates and for entry-level experience. Depending on my schedule this year, I might have some live streams focused on going through the learning path. I've actually also made a couple of videos along that learning path, so I think that might help out if you're preparing for this exam. As I mentioned before, I'll make another video once I've taken the exam, so keep an eye out for that. I want 2025 to be the year that you focus on hands-on training, like the Triac Me Sal one. And if you're not sure where to get started in navigating your cybersecurity career, check out this video on the screen on how I would learn cybersecurity if I could start over in 2025. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.